Okay. If um, let's just say I'm giving you guys these two these two numbers, I say cosecant of theta is square root of 13 over 2, and secant of theta is square root of 13 over 2. Now I could just make a, a triangle out of this and say, you know, just label them and find our sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, <clears throat> however, there's a couple things that you guys you know can really notice about this that we don't even have to go through right in the triangle because remember cosecant is our hypotenuse over our adjacent, right? So therefore you can say that the square root of 13 is the hypotenuse and our, uh, our adjacent side is two. And I'm sorry, our opposite side is two. And secant is hypotenuse over your adjacent. And that is where two would be your adjacent side. Well, if one thing you guys need to remember is sine is the same thing as one over cosecant of theta. All right, and that was in your that was in the box that I was told you guys. You know, it's very important for you guys to have. You guys need to know, understand that the sine of theta is just the reciprocal of one over cosecant. So therefore, I can rewrite this as one over the square root of thirteen over two. Which to get that off the bottom, I have to multiply by the reciprocal. That cancels to one. Then I have to rationalize the denominator. So my final answer is 2 radical 13 over 13. Okay, so you can just take, if you're given the sine, or the, I'm sorry, you're given the cosecant, and they say find the sine, just put it over 1. All right? Same thing can be done with the, the cosine. The cosine is 1 over secant of theta. So I'd do the same thing. I'd say 1 over this. Well, I don't need to do the math again. I know that I'm going to get the exact same answer. Now, what's another thing you need to know about tangent? Well, you also we need to know that tangent is the same thing as sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. Well, I know what um, my sine is, and I know what my cosine is, right? Right? I just figured those out. Well, since they're the same thing, I know they're really weird numbers. 2 times radical 3 divided by 13. But are they exactly the same? And whenever you divide exactly the same number, you get just one, right? Whenever I say eight divided by eight, it's just gonna be one. So two radical 13 divided by 13, divided by two radical 13 divided by 13, is still just gonna give us one. And the last thing we need to know is, this was below your blue box, the saying the, the co-function complementary angles. If you're given secant of 90 degrees minus theta, that's the same thing as cosecant of theta. And we know that from the original problem, cosecant of theta is equal to radical 13 divided by 2. So everybody want to start with any questions at all with that? These are all written down below that box that I want you guys to have, complementary cofunction angles. I believe I talked about it last time, why those are true, why work. Now I can show you. Does anybody have any other questions on this? No? Okay. Because one thing I want to let you guys know.